Hey guys, I'm Ajin Des, back with another Japanese lecture. Today we are going to be talking about personal questions, getting to know people. A quick review um, this lesson is basically taking all the stuff you learned in the past lessons, the previous lessons, and just building on all of that. So we're gonna, we're, you kind of have to review a lot of stuff. Uh, countries as well as stating your nationality. So, I am Asian. I am a person of nationality A. I can speak language A. You should also review how to turn uh, declarations into simple questions using ka. State, also review your numbers and what, you know, year of a student you are, if you are a student. Nense, using nense. Um, also, how to review to tell time, using ji and hu. And then, review how to make positive and negative declarations using des and da. Alright. Our key sentence for this lecture is, O namae wa nan desu ka? Doko kara kimashita ka? O namae wa nan desu ka? Doko kara kimashita ka? Today's vocabulary, you'll notice we have two terms that I included that we learned in the past. Uh, they're very useful, this lecture. The first one is nani, what nani. And then, year in school, nensei, nensei. Our new terms include the word for where in Japanese is doko, doko. The word for kara, or for from, is kara, kara. And then we have a verb to come, to come, kimas kuru. Kimas kuru. Now, kimas is probably what most textbooks will teach you. Um, this is a polite way of saying the word to come in Japanese. And you know, you should say it to people you don't know very well, people who outrank you socially, people who are older, stuff like that. Kuru is the casual way of saying it. You use this with your friends and family. And then the past tense of this is kimashita and kita. Kimashita, kita. Next we have o. o. This is a polite prefix that you add to the beginning of some nouns to make them more polite, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later in the lecture. Namae, namae. Name. Name. San. This is a polite name suffix. Right? You add it to the end of people's names, usually their last name, usually their last name. But I have heard, you know, some people use it with, you know, other people's first names. And I think you have to be very close to do something like that. There's also you know, different situations in, in which it's acceptable. So for now, just only add it to people's last names when you want to be polite. And then finally, we have shushin, shushin, one's hometown birthplace, something like that. Getting into the grammar, additional questions using nani, nani. We can add nani to ji and nense to ask what the time is and what year someone is in school. For example, ima nanji desu ka? Ima nanji desu ka? What time is it now? Jaku wa nan nensei desu ka? Jaku wa nan nensei desu ka? What year in school? is Jack. Okay, And then here are the informal, casual ways to express these sentences. Ima nanji? Ima nanji? And you have to raise your, the tone of your voice at the end of the sentence. Ima nanji? Jack wa nanese? Jack wa nanese? Very casual. Alright, when you want to talk directly to someone, someone in front of you, and you want to ask them a question, don't, you may have learned the word for you before, don't use you. Instead, just use their name, or you can drop the subject of the sentence altogether. So for example, if I'm talking to Bob and Bob is in front of me, I could say, Bob-san, ima nanji desu ka? Bob-san, ima nanji desu ka? Bob, what time is it now? Jack-san wa nan nensei desu ka? Jack-san wa nan nensei desu ka? Jack, what year are you? Okay. That's if I'm talking directly to Jack. Now, if I'm talking to someone who's not Jack, and I say, Jack-san wa nan nensei desu ka? Nan nensei desu ka? Then I'm talking to someone else about Jack. All right? That's how it works. Again, a warning. You know, English uses the words you, he, and she a lot. 
way more than Japanese. In fact, it's actually kind of rude to refer to people with these words in Japanese. You probably learned that the word for you is anata, and there are plenty of other words too, but anata is the most polite, most neutral you out there. Um, don't use it. Just saying it right now. If I'm talking to Bob here, you know, and I'm asking Bob what year in school is he, Bob wa nane se desu ka? is fine. I wouldn't, I would never say, anata wa nane se desu ka? It sounds, to me, it sounds kind of condescending and almost like I'm looking down on him. Uh, so don't use anata. Try not to use kare or kanojo. We'll talk a little bit more about that in later lectures. To ask for people's names, use this phrase. Namai wa nan desu ka? O namai wa nan desu ka? The O is optional, it's just polite. A simple name, des, is a fine answer. That's all you need, okay? For example, O namai wa nan desu ka? Morgan desu. I'm Morgan. Kare no namai wa nan desu ka? Kama, uh, kare no namai wa nan desu ka? Kare wa gebe desu. You could also say, uh, Namai wa Gabe des, name is Gabe. Or you could just respond with, Gabe des. <laughs> Gabe des. That is the number one, the easiest response. You'll notice as well uh, in this sentence here, Kare no namae. Kare no namae, his name. Kanojo no namae, her name. Watashi no namae, my name. Okay, you can use that possessive no that we learned in a previous lecture. Activity one, go ahead, you know, read the conversation and then answer the questions. Try it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. So the conversation, let's read it. The guy says, Onamae wa nan desu ka? This girl says, Katie desu. <laughs> Gakusei desu. Onamae wa? Remember, we learned that wa before. Uh, when you're asking a series of questions, um, you can just, you know, say what the information you're looking for and then add wa to it. Wa and a question mark. O namae wa? The guy says, Tanaka desu. Nan nensei desu ka? Ichi nensei desu. Tanaka san wa? Gokusei jo arimasen. So he's not a student, but he's asking her what year in school she is. That's a little creepy. Whatever. We'll uh, keep going. <laughs> Activity one, number one. It says, Kare no namae wa nan desu ka? Kare no namae wa nan desu ka? So she asked his name. O namae wa nan... O namae wa? And he says, Tanaka desu. So his name is Tanaka. To answer in Japanese, we can say, we can say, there's many ways to answer, but one way would be, Kare no namae wa? Kare no namae wa? Tanaka desu. Or just Tanaka desu is fine. Number two. Kanojo no namae wa nan desu ka? Kanojo no namae wa nan desu ka? Well, it's right here. <laughs> Katie. Katie desu. Katie. Number three. Kanojo wa gakusei desu ka? Nan nensei desu ka? So that's the same question Tanaka asks, right? Nan nensei desu ka? She says, Ichi nensei desu. Ichi nensei desu. So, yes, hai. Ano, Katie wa gakusei desu. Ichi nensei desu. That's a fine answer. Number four, kare wa gakusei desu ka? Nan nensei desu ka? Well, at the end, he's saying, gakusei jo arimasen. He's not a student. So, we could say, iie, kare wa, ama, tanaka wa gakusei jo arimasen. Dewa arimasen is also fine. And there are the answers in bold. Activity two, read the conversation below and answer each question. This is a shorter conversation. The girl is saying, Li, ima nanji? <laughs> it's my girl voice. Ima rokujihan da. Rokujihan? Mm. You like my voices? <laughs> Number one, this is a kind of, uh, I included some questions in English because, you know, to ask these in Japanese would be too hard for you at this point in time. But we're going 
talking about it, we're going to keep going. Number one, what did the woman ask? And I'm looking here for her exact words. She asked, Ima nanji? Ima nanji? What time is it? Is what she asked in English. What time is it? Number two asks us, Ima nanji desu ka? What time is it in this conversation? And according to Lee, it's Rokujihan des. Rokujihan des ima. Rokujihan des. It is 6.30. Okay. Number three, how close are these two? How do we know? Now, this is a question you can answer in English. Well, they're using very casual speech, right? She's not saying nanji desu ka. She's just saying ima nanji, raising her voice. And he's just replying with very casual da, right? And then his final response is very casual m mm, instead of hai or e, I guess. Mm, very casual. So we would say these two are pretty close. Mm. Now we're going to you know, learn how to ask where someone is from. First, before we do that, you can say where you are from with this phrase. Place kara kimashita. Place kara kimashita. Or if you're talking casually, place kara kita. Okay. Some examples. I come from America. Watashi wa Amerika kara kimashita. No, you don't need watashi wa. You can just say Amerika kara kimashita. I came from America. Haruka is from Japan. Haruka wa Nihon kara kimashita. Or uh, this is a casual sentence. Haruka wa Nihon kara kita. Haruka comes from Japan. Or came from. You know, the tense in English, I guess, is kind of loose. We can say came or come. Uh, in Japanese, stick with kimashita and kita. To ask where someone is from, use this phrase, doko kara kimashita ka? Doko kara kimashita ka? Doko from, or where, right? Kara from. So, doko kara means from where? Kimashita ka? Kimashita came Ka makes it a question. Doko kara kimashita ka? Doko kara kita? Here's example sentences. Doko kara kimashita ka? Where are you from? Haruka wa doko kara kita? Where is Haruka from? Informal. When you state your hometown or your birthplace, where you're from, it's very common in Japanese to hear place, shushin desu. So, for example, if you are from Tokyo, you can say Tokyo shin desu. Tokyo shushin desu. Where are you from? This is a very common way to ask where someone is from using the word shushin. Doko no shushin desu ka? Doko no shin desu ka? Where are you from? I am from Florida, USA. Amerika no Florida no shushin desu. Sometimes you can add no between the place you're from and shushin. Um, and you'll also notice that I'm specifying a spe very specific place inside a bigger place. So inside America, Florida is where I'm from, is what you're saying in Japanese. America no Florida no shin desu. So this no is also like the possessive no that we learned in a previous lecture. It's like saying America's Florida is where I'm from. America's Florida is my hometown, hometown, home state, uh, my birthplace. I guess you could translate that. I'm from Florida, USA. America no Florida no shin desu. Now in English, right, in English, we typically, the order in which we specify exact locations is from very specific to broad. But in Japanese, it's the opposite. You go from broad to specific, bigger to larger. And that's how it always is. So instead of saying, Florida no America, that's kind of strange. You would say, America no Florida, America no Florida kara kimashita, or no shushin desu, right? America's Florida is how I think about it in my mind. This next sentence I included because, well, I lived in Shimane Prefecture in Japan uh, for a while, and Izumo City is one of the more popular cities there. So, this sentence reads, Shimane ken no izumo shin desu. 
島根県の出雲出身です。I am from 出雲、島根 prefecture、okay.。Activity 3: Use the chart to answer each question below. We have three people, various categories. Pause the video, try to solve this on your own. I'm gonna solve it right now. Number one asks, Chad wa doko kara kimashita ka? Chad wa doko kara kimashita ka? Well, we have to find Chad. Here he is. We know because of his name. And then we find Shushin, his birthplace, Canada. He's from Canada. He's Canadian. So we could say for number one, the answer would be, まあ、チャッドはあのカナダから来ました。チャッドはカナダから来ました。No.2、モニック。モニックはどこの出身ですかモニックはどこ,のどこの出身ですか ?So this is the same question as number one, just worded a little differently.So we find Monique, here's Monique, and she's from Australia. Australia. So we could say, モニックはオーストラリア出身です。オーストラリアの出身です。Okay. Number three. ホセはあの英語が話せますかホセは英語が話せますか Can Jose speak English? <laughs> well, let's find out. Here's Jose. And according to this, he speaks Spanish. Okay. So we would say, いいえ、いいえ。Jose wa ano, Spain go ga hanase mas. Or you can negate it, and that's what I think I did here.、Uh, Jose wa ego ga hanase masen. Hanase masen.、Uh, we probably, I don't know if we've actually studied that in the past, in previous lectures, but hanase masen is the negative way of saying can't speak. Alright? Number four. モニックは1年生ですかモニック、モニックは1年生ですかいえ、いいえ。モニックは3年生です。Or、モニックは1年生じゃありません。ではありません。Either one is fine.No.5。補正はアメリカ出身ですか補正はアメリカ出身ですか補正。ああ、いいえ、いいえ。補正はメキシコ出身です。Or、メキシコから来ました。はい。And here are sample answers in bold.Activity 4: Fill in each blank with the most logical word or phrase.So, someone, what you're gonna have to do for this activity is look at the answers that are given here. The second person's speech, right? What they're saying. And then use that to base, you know, The other person's question, what word you should fill in there. Go ahead,、uh, try solving it on your own. Pause the video, take your time. I'm gonna solve it right now. Number one, she's asking, O wa nan desu ka? O wa nan desu ka? And he's saying, Rudy desu. Well, Rudy is his name. He's saying, I'm Rudy. <clears throat> So she can only be asking, What is your name?、Hmm. And to say that, what should we put in there? O Namae. O Namae wa nan desu ka? This is Namae. Okay, number two. She, let's look at the answer first. Doitsu kara kimashita. So you can already be thinking in your mind, Oh, okay, she's saying she's from. Germany, Deutsche, right? Germany. So maybe he's asking where she's from. Nani 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 no shushin desu ka? Ah, so it looks like he is asking her about her birthplace. So what did we learn? What phrase did we learn、uh, that matches something like this? Doko? Doko no shushin desu ka? どこの出身ですか And she would answer, ドイツから来ました。Right. Number three.、Uh, this man here is asking, 今、時ですか And this guy is replying, 一時です。一時です。So he's giving the time. 
which means the guy asking the question can only be asking what the time is. And the phrase we know for that is Ima Nanji desuka? Nanji desuka? Nani ne? Number four. <laughs> we don't even have a clue for what this lady is asking. Our clue is in the response of the responder, I guess. And he says, Boku wa Italia kara kimashita. Remember, boku means I, and it's a very masculine sounding word. Boku wa Italia kara kimashita. He's saying where he's from. So she can only be asking, Where are you from? Um, he's using kara kimashita, so let's use a similar you know, question. She could ask, Doko kara kimashita ka? Doko kara kimashita ka? She could also ask, Doko no shishin desu ka? But I think in the answers that I wrote down here in the, on the next slide, um, I used kara kimashita ka. Okay, number five. She's just asking, Nani nani desu ka? Nani nani desu ka? And the answer that this person is giving is, San nense desu. San nense desu. So, we know she's probably asking me for what year in school he is, and to say that, you ask, Nan nense desu ka? Nan nense desu ka? Nan nense desu ka? Here are the answers in bold. Okay, how'd you do? Listening practice, activity five. I'm gonna read two compositions twice. I want you to listen and write down what I say either in your mind or on a piece of paper. Ready? Number one, here we go. Ima nanji desu ka? Ima nanji desu ka? Pause the video if you need more time. I'm gonna go on and read number two. Here's the answer for number one. Ima nanji desu ka? Number two. Jack wa nan nense desu ka? Doko no shushin desu ka? Jack wa nan nense desu ka? Doko no shushin desu ka? Pause the video if you need more time. Here is the answer for number two. Jack wa nan nense desu ka? Doko no shushin desu ka? And now translation practice. Translate the following statements into either English or Japanese. Pause the video, take your time. I'm going to reveal the answers right now. Chugoku shin desu. Chugoku shin desu. I'm from China. Is basically what he's saying. You could also write something like, My hometown, my birthplace is China. Something like that. What is his name? In Japanese is. Kare no namae wa nan desu ka? What is his name? And we're back to our key sentence. What is your name? It's a very polite way of saying it, right? What is your name? Where are you from? And now your homework. Ask, you know, ask around, ask your friends the questions that we studied in this lesson. Get to know them in Japanese. Write down their answers, convert everything to Japanese if you ask them in English. And then I guess, you know, act out your conversation with them in Japanese. As always, there is a worksheet that accompanies each and every lesson. Go to my website. The link is in the description. And that wraps it up, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And I hope to see you in future lectures.